Elon Musk is one of the world's most famous innovators. He is the billionaire genius behind SpaceX and Tesla, but he's also generating buzz for a wild theory that perhaps we're not real, we're just living in a big computer simulation. Dan Bowens has the big idea. The basic idea of simulation theory is to question the reality around us. It's just that there's some more advanced civilization than us that have, uh, can recreate um, the universe that we observe. Is everything that we know and experience simply either in our imagination or in the manifestation of a world that's being controlled? If we're in a simulation, do we have free will? As a philosophy professor at NYU, David Chalmers focuses on the concept of consciousness, questions of what the mind perceives as reality. How do we know we're not in a simulation? Where everything is an illusion. A simulation, a mastery of complex algorithms creating a cosmic artificial world, all set up by our ancestors or some other intelligent being. Concepts that sound very That's red amazing. pill, blue pill, neo in the matrix. I mean, a lot of this is really way out, but some of the questions are actually kind of relevant. So the idea of uh, simulation theory is, is pretty controversial for a number of different reasons. First, I should say that technologically it's possible. Possible? Really? Hod Lipson is a professor of engineering at Columbia University specializing in robotics. The rate at which artificial intelligence is progressing, which is, which is nothing short of exponential. We have machines that learn. Forty years ago, all we had was Pong. Now it's immersive, lifelike games like SimCity. Centuries from now, billionaire and SpaceX founder Elon Musk believes humans will have the capability to create beyond what we can imagine. He shocked the tech world by putting the odds we're not in someone else's simulation at one in one billion. Either we're going to create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality or civilization will cease to exist. Yeah, so Elon Musk is wrong. Wrong, says Peter Morgan, the chief artificial intelligence officer with Ivy Data Science. It's a company specializing in AI education. He says there are ways to test the limits of our physical world. And one of the measurements we take is of uh, cosmic rays, which are constantly bombarding us and if we're living in a simulation then the actual energy distribution will be asymmetric. So far good for us he says everything is lining up. Wouldn't you want to go back to you know any number of eras and experience those? Because says Winslow Burleson director of the NYU X lab at the College of Nursing what the debate really boils down to a fundamental question of humanity why are we here? You can't necessarily know if there's a God or not. You can take it on faith. These are very profound questions. And I think for me, I try and, and be the best person I can be. I try and explore and discover and foster that in other people. That's life as we know it. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.